Jesus. If the Husqvarna Vipulin 801 looks familiar, it's because it essentially replaces the older Vipulin 701 and shares much of its design with the Svarpilin 801, which was released earlier this year. The two models are almost identical, with only a few key differences. The Svarpilin, meaning Black Arrow in Swedish, has a street scrambler style, featuring knobby tires and higher handlebars. In contrast, the Vipulin White Arrow is a streamlined roadster equipped with street-focused tires, firmer suspension, and lower bars. One of the most striking updates is the Vipulin's new circular LED headlight, adding a sci-fi touch. Other design tweaks include a unique radiator cover, a black exhaust end can, a contrasting yellow highlight on the rear seat, and additional details like a heel guard and modified front mud guard. Available in sleek gray or a vibrant, eye-catching yellow, the Vipulin 801 captures attention with its modern aesthetics. On the road, the Vipulin is a full-fledged sports naked bike, delivering thrills on par with models like the Triumph Street 777 Yamaha MT-09, Ducati Monster, and KTM's Duke 790. It's fast, nimble, lightweight, and incredibly well-balanced. While the seat can be uncomfortable on longer rides, the bike's handling, finish, and roominess are impressive. The Vipulin 801 not only looks unique, but also offers a distinct riding experience. Husqvarna has tuned the Vipulin to have a slightly softer, more relaxed feel compared to its KTM counterparts. The power delivery is smoother, and the steering is more composed. The standard sports touring tires provide a comfortable ride, though the chassis would benefit from grippier, more agile tires for sharper handling. The front brakes require a firm squeeze to quickly slow down, but overall, the Vipulin is a refreshing, fun roadster, perfect for a sunny weekend ride. The bike is built on a tubular steel frame inspired by the KTM 790 Duke and features high-quality, adjustable WP suspension, giving it precise and responsive handling. While the Vipulin steering is slightly slower than some rivals, this characteristic adds to its unique personality. With wide bars and its sporty setup, it's at home on twisty roads, though it does require a bit more effort from the rider than some other bikes in its class. On the positive side, the Vipulin 801 is remarkably stable, offering confidence both at full lean and on straight stretches. It also feels spacious, with low-set pegs that still provide ample ground clearance. The handlebars, similar in positioning to the 1390 Super Duke R's, are low enough to let you apply weight to the front end without straining your wrists. The seat, while less cushioned than the Svarpilin 801s, remains comfortable for four to five hours before any discomfort sets in. Equipped with Michelin Power 6 Sports Touring Tires, the Vipulin 801 complements its more relaxed riding style. These tires proved especially useful on some of the damp, slippery sections during the bike's world debut in southern France. However, the chassis can easily handle grippier, more performance-focused tires. Unless you're planning to use it as a sports tourer or for long distances, likely uncommon for this style of bike, upgrading the tires would allow the Vipulin to truly shine. One drawback is the front brakes, which lack the strong stopping power and feedback you might expect from KTM. They get the job done, but only with substantial lever pressure. The Vipulin's engine, borrowed from the 790 Duke, is fantastic on the road, though early versions of this engine encountered some well-publicized issues. While KTM initially struggled to address these problems, they've since implemented a goodwill scheme to make things right. Setting aside those earlier concerns, the parallel twin engine remains as impressive as when it debuted in the 790 Duke in 2018. It delivers a satisfying V-twin-like growl at full throttle, with a smooth, easy-to-control power band and enough punch for playful wheelies in second gear. Husqvarna's approach is intentionally more laid-back than KTM's, adding to the Vipulin's unique appeal. The Vipulin 801 delivers power in a smoother, more refined way compared to the punchier 790 or 890 Duke, and it's less aggressive than the high-powered 990. Still, it's plenty powerful, full of character, 
and features a remarkably smooth gearbox. It offers three standard riding modes to adjust throttle response, along with a 10-stage cornering traction control system. There's also an optional dynamic mode that allows for adjustments to wheelie control and engine braking, as well as an excellent up slash down quickshifter, available as an upgrade. It's too early to judge the long-term reliability of the Vipolin 801, but since it shares many engine, chassis, and electronics components with the 790 and 990 Dukes, KTM's experience provides a good indication. KTM has addressed camshaft issues in earlier models through a goodwill scheme, and models built from 2020 onward are unaffected by those problems. User reviews on the 890 and 990 Duke engines have reported only minor issues, such as occasional sticky switchgear, with no major complaints about the engine, electronics, or chassis components. This promising track record bodes well for the Vipolin 801. Priced just above 10,000 pounds, the Husqvarna Vipolin 801 is more expensive than other roadsters with the same engine, such as the CF Moto 800 and K Sport, 5,999 pounds, and KTM 790 Duke, 7,999 pounds. It's similarly priced to the Triumph Street RRR, 10,095 pounds, and Yamaha MT-09, 10,106 pounds, but more affordable than the more powerful KTM 990 Duke, 12,999 pounds, and Ducati Monster, 11,585 pounds. The Vipolin 801 comes with plenty of goodies like adjustable WP suspension and steering damper, radial brakes, a color dash, LEDs, adjustable Ollie tapered bars, slip and assist clutch and lean sensitive traction control, and ABS with supermoto mode. But you're going to have to pay extra for an up slash down quick shifter, extra riding modes, adjustable rider aids, and cruise control. There are a plethora of official accessories and clothing to choose from too. The 2025 Husqvarna Vipolin 801 is designed to offer a refined yet exhilarating ride, balancing performance with a unique style and feel. Its engine, based on KTM's renowned 790 Duke platform, has been finely tuned for smoother power delivery, avoiding the abruptness found in some of its sportier counterparts like the KTM 790 and 890 Duke. With a focus on tractability and control, the Vipolin 801 offers a slightly softer, more manageable throttle response, making it an ideal choice for riders who want a capable sports naked without the aggressive edge. The parallel twin engine produces a satisfying blend of mid-range torque and top-end power, allowing for confident acceleration whether navigating city streets or tackling winding back roads. Husqvarna has equipped the Vipolin 801 with a range of electronic aids to enhance performance and rider control. Three standard riding modes allow for customization of throttle response, catering to different riding conditions and preferences. An advanced 10-stage cornering traction control system also comes standard, keeping the bike stable even under hard acceleration while leaned over. For those seeking a more dynamic experience, an optional, dynamic mode allows fine-tuning of wheelie control and engine braking, as well as an up-slash-down quickshifter for seamless gear changes at any speed.